Hello positive vibes. Do you know what is mean by shade balls? Is it really useful to save water from evaporation? What do they have inside? To help your curiosity, make sure you watch this video till the end. Actually, these shade balls were developed initially to prevent birds from landing on bodies of water. So it's also known as bird balls. Shade balls are small plastic spheres floated on top of the reservoir for environmental reasons, including to slow evaporation and prevent sunlight from causing reaction among chemical compounds present in the water. There are about 4 inches in diameter and are partially filled with water to avoid being blown by wind. They have also been used by airports to prevent birds from being attracted to nearby drainage ponds, thus reducing collision with planes. Starting in mid-2009, the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power put about 4 lakhs ball in the Ivanhoe Reservoir with the main objective of preventing the formation of the carcinogenic chemical bromate which forms when naturally occurring bromine reacts with chlorine in sunlight. The reduction in evaporation led to an estimated savings of about 1.1 billion litres of water in one year. These balls were supposed to save water, but there is a big problem. In 2015, 96 million floating plastic shade balls were dumped into the reservoir of drought embattled Los Angeles. It was a plan to save water by preventing evaporation. And it did. But there was one big wet elephant in a room that was somehow overlooked. Manufacturing that many plastic balls actually used more water than it saved. According to calculation made by researchers from Imperial College London in UK, MIT in the US and the University of Trent in the Netherlands, the oil, natural gas and electricity used in the manufacture of plastic balls would have used around 2.9 million cubic meters of water. The balls were deployed on the reservoir from August 2015 to March 2017. During that time, they prevented around 1.7 million cubic meters only from evaporation. But we used around 2.9 million cubic meters of water for manufacture. We are very good at quick technological fixes, but we often overlook the long term and secondary impacts of our solution. This is how we have been solving problems solving one problem somewhere and creating a new problem elsewhere but that doesn't mean it's a total waste of time and resources either i'm just highlighting the fact that environmental cost of shade balls must be considered together with their benefits i hope you are liked this video share this video to your friends and relatives and also in the social media give your support also to my instagram and facebook and don't forget to subscribe this channel to the journey of amazement